Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and this is going to be a quick Godot tutorial, and I'm going to introduce 3D inside of the Godot engine. Now, with Godot 3.0 coming out pretty soon, I'd like to eventually start moving to some smaller 3D projects. And so I decided to try and learn a little bit about using 3D inside of Godot, and I just wanted to share some of the things that I've learned. So maybe it's a little bit less of a tutorial than it is just kind of a follow along uh, as I go through some things that I've learned but I think it could still be useful for some people and so I wanted to share it so first I have Godot I've downloaded version uh, 2.1.4 stable and I'm gonna create a new project well actually you know I'm just gonna use an experiments project right here so let me come into this project and I've already got a bunch of stuff imported in over here so I'm gonna actually uh, remove some of these because I don't need them anymore well I'll be recreating them in the tutorial so I just went to opengameart.org and I downloaded a file here let's see um, a low poly horse and you can see it is a blender project so you'll need blender for this as well but I'm just gonna open up blender I'll link to the I'll link to this horse in the description as well so you guys can download it so I'm just gonna double click on it and open it up in blender now once we have the horse opened up in blender we need to be able to export it so I'm gonna come up to file and I'm gonna to go to export and we're going to export it as a .dae file right here the default and we're going to export it into our Godot project folder so I'm gonna to go to documents Godot projects and experiments and export it into here and you can see it's already in here so it's delete that file yes okay and then I'll just re-export it once that's done when you're inside of Godot right here when it reloads you should see uh, the texture and the PNG file but we don't actually have the mesh as you can see right now so if we come into Blender real quick and we do export as an uh, .obj file, this should we should be able to import this as a mesh. We're still uh, we need to go back to our Godot projects and where is it? Experiments. Here we go. And export object. Now that won't actually show up in here yet either, but what you can do now is come to, well there's two ways to do this, I'm going to show you the easy one first. So the easy one is to come into Godot, Projects, Experiments, and our .obj file should be in here, and you can just drag and drop that into scene right here and it will want to generate we will want to create a new model and we do want uh, I mean we don't really need to generate the normals I guess for now but you might want to generate normals we're just going to do import and there you go now we have a mesh okay so once you have that mesh you actually need to uh, be able to drop it into your scene right here so I'm going to create a new node and do just a base node and on inside this node we need to create a mesh instance if you just search mesh you should have mesh instance right here and once we've created this mesh instance there should be a mesh right here and we can grab our mesh and drag it into this location right here just drag and drop it and there's our horse 
you can see we don't have uh, the UV mapping or the normal mapping uh, applied to it yet. So we can do that. And the way that we do that is we come into the mesh right here. Just press that little over arrow key. And we need a new material. And I'm just going to do a new fixed material. Okay. And then we go press the little over arrow again to go inside of this material. And once we're inside of the material, we should have um, our textures here. So the diffuse texture, we can use just our normal horse texture for that. So grab that and drop it into our diffuse. And there, now all of a sudden we have color on the horse. And then if we want to add the normal mapping, you can scroll down until you see normal and drag the normal map onto the horse as well. And this will just allow a little bit more, uh, if you know how normal mapping works, basically it's just a texture that can be used to tell light how to reflect off of certain parts to make it look like there are more polygons than there actually are. So it's very powerful. And there you go. You've got your very first uh, 3D model inside of the Godot engine. I want to learn more about this and continue to show you guys kind of what I'm learning in the future. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up and I will talk to you guys later.